If you imagine whenever you want to send a message on your phone, for example, if that message arrives with the wrong person or it arrives way too late, then of course this would cause havoc for your personal life. And in the same way, cancer cells have this sort of dysregulation when the wrong message arrives at the wrong place and the wrong time. And that fuels an aggressive growth of the cancer cells. And that's what my research aims to understand. I believe there's a lot to be learned still about how genes are regulated. In the old days, we believed that it was sort of a binary switch, on, off, and now we understand that there's a multi-layered regulatory network that controls when and where genes should be activated, and that's critical for normal development and when dysregulated results in disease. I study the cell's messenger factory that generates the message from the DNA. So it transcribes a gene into a message, and that message instructs how the cells should behave and respond to cellular cues, so the environment, for example. What we've also come to realize is that recurrent mutations in the key components that regulate this machine are the causal factor for many blood cancers, in particular acute myeloid leukemias, and they drive aggressive properties and they also confer therapy resistance, so to conventional therapies. I really want to understand how the cell's messenger factory works in a comprehensive manner. Then I want to understand how they are dysregulated in cancer. And finally, I want to find out which components we should be targeting in the context of cancer therapies. The CSL Centenary Fellowship gives me the five year of support and security to really pursue a bold, innovative research plan and allows me to attract top talent from around the world and within Australia to make my research plan a reality.